I'm a teacher of the Word of God who travels the world sharing the hope of Jesus with as many people as I can. I'm from the United States of America, and I've been blessed to travel to many countries and continents sharing that Christianity is not about condemnation, but it's about forgiveness and love and hope. I want everyone to know that Jesus Christ has died for their sins and risen from the dead so they can have the hope of heaven. One very popular phrase in America is, what goes around comes around. When I was a young man, I was preparing to go to Bible college. I was saving money and working at an airport. I would get home from work sometimes at 2 or 3 in the morning, very, very tired. My dad was a funny guy and liked to play practical jokes on me when I would get home tired from work. So oftentimes he would take my dumbbell, a weight, and he would put it underneath my pillow. So I would get back from work and I would go to lay my head to go to sleep and bang my head on a piece of metal. One of his favorite jokes, though, was to take a cup of water, slightly open the door to my bedroom, and place the water on top. So when I would come home from work, tired and ready to go to sleep, I would open the door and the water would fall on my head. <laughs> he did this for many, many weeks. He would do it one time and then wait three or four days and then do it again. And I was just getting so frustrated because I kept forgetting that this was going to happen because he would put time in between each, each event, each time I got wet. So one day I, uh, I came from home from work, it was two in the morning. I was very tired and I was about to open my door when I looked up at the top and there was a red cup about this big filled with water. I looked up at that cup and I said, oh, it's not happening this time. I reached up, I took the cup down and I snuck over to my parents' bedroom. I slowly opened the door I slid over to my dad's side of the bed. I grabbed his shoulder and I shook him and I said, Hey, Dad. He sat up and went, huh? And I went, Poof. And I doused him with the water. I said, that's what you get. And he never put a cup of water on top of my door again. What goes around comes around. And the Bible teaches a similar principle in Galatians chapter number 6. It says in verse 7, Be not deceived. God is not mocked, for whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. If you go into your backyard and you plant apple seeds, what's going to grow? An orange tree, right? No, that's not how it goes. If you go into your backyard and you take all of the watermelon seeds and you spit them on the ground, and a few weeks later a vine is going to grow up with grapes, right? No, if you plant apple seeds, you're going to get an apple tree. If you plant watermelon seeds, you're going to get what kind of a tree? You're not going to get a tree because watermelons grow on vines. But you're going to have come up what you put in. You grow what you sow. And this is true in your life. Many young people are angry at their parents because of the fighting or the frustration or something their parents did to them. But if they sow seeds of bitterness in their heart, what's going to grow? Bitterness and frustration and anger. I've met yet many young men who are angry at their father for leaving their mom or cheating on her. But these young men give their minds and hearts to lust. And what's going to grow out of a heart that is filled with lust? and adultery. In America, we have another popular phrase, and it says, when you're young, you should sow your wild oats. That means you're young. Just do what you want. Live for fun. Don't, don't take life too seriously. But many young people with this mentality sow seeds of foolishness and laziness, drunkenness, drugs, tobacco, and then when they're in their 30s and 40s, they are reaping what they have sown, the wild oats of their youth. So what kind of seeds are you sowing in your life? 
don't think about having fun right now. One time I was in California and I saw a, a Pepsi sign and it said, Pepsi, live for now. And I thought to myself, I have some friends who lived for now. They lived for right now. And now they've got serious issues. They have addictions. They have friction with their families. Some of them have gotten diseases. They're addicted to tobacco, to alcohol. They lived for now and they didn't study. And so their grades are failing and they can't get a good job. They live for now and now they are struggling with sins that they cannot overcome. And yes, God still loves them. And yes, God has mercy and grace. And He can forgive them and lift them up. But so many pains in our lives are caused because of what we sow or what we plant. And the Bible says, don't be deceived. God is not mocked. You cannot live your youthful teenage years, your young adult life years, all for yourself and say, I'll serve God when I'm older. I'll do right when I'm older. And then expect when you're older, God to bless you. You can't say, God, I don't want you to tell me what to do. And then when you get in a difficult situation, say, God, why aren't you blessing my life? You grow what you sow. Be not deceived. God is not mocked. God loves you. And God has a plan for your life. We know that all things work together for good to those that love God. If you love God, even the bad things that happen to you, He will work out in good for the end. You may never see it or know it, but it's a promise you claim by faith. But if you say, God, I am going to live for myself in the days of my youth, I am not going to remember my Creator in the days of my youth. I am going to serve my flesh. I am going to listen to my friends and the world's music and enjoy the world's entertainment. And later, I'll serve God. Remember grow what you sow. If you want to be a godly man, it starts with planting seeds of godliness while you're young. If you want to be a godly woman, it starts with planting seeds of godliness when you're young. If you want to be the kind of husband or father that you never saw in your home, it starts with you deciding now to be wise and plant the seeds of God's word. Plant the seeds of prayer, of humility, Love preaching. Eat up preaching. When you hear the man of God, open the Bible. Open your heart and receive the word. Don't let the cares of this life, the riches of this world, grow up and choke out the seed of the word that your pastor is planting in your heart. Live for Christ while you're young. Make right choices. Flee from pornography. Flee from sinful friends. Stay away from wickedness. Because you grow what you sow. Now the verse also says this. Let us not be weary or tired in well-doing. Because in due season we shall reap if we faint not. So it's not just a negative message. Oh, if you do bad things, bad things will happen to you. It's also a positive message. If you do right things and you seek after God and you love his word and you love preaching and you love Christian music, one day the good seeds will grow up. Sometimes it's hard to serve God when you're young because all of your friends are doing the things you wish you could do because nobody else is serious about God or serious about telling people about Jesus. All of your friends are listening to the world's music and watching the world's movie and all your friends tell dirty jokes and innuendos and you're wondering, I feel alone because all my friends are doing these things and I want to be accepted. Don't get tired of doing good. Because the seeds you plant now one day will grow. And while other people your age, their lives are full of difficulty and sin and sorrow, you will say, I'm so glad that I live for Jesus. I'm so glad that I planted the right seeds while I was young because they're springing up into life eternal. The well of the Holy Spirit's joy and love and peace is coming up. The Word of God is enriching me and renewing my mind. Make right choices. The 
Bible doesn't say thou shalt not listen to rock music. But if you know that that music is leaning your heart away from God, then it's a wrong seat. The Bible doesn't say thou shalt not watch movies. I watch movies. But if the movies you're watching are leading your heart away from God and are promoting wicked, sinful ideas, then you're planting the wrong seeds. We all want to have friends. We all want to be accepted. But if your friends are constantly putting wrong thoughts and ideas and motives in your heart, if your friends are leading you to live for things that don't matter, that don't count for eternity, you're planting the wrong seeds. But the Bible promises that if you plant the right seeds in due time, you will reap the good if you don't quit. Don't quit. Don't quit reading your Bible. Don't quit obeying your parents. Don't quit loving preaching and loving Christian music. Don't quit having a heart to tell people about Jesus. Because yes, just like planting a field is hard, it will be difficult. But if you don't give up, God's blessings will come in your life and you'll be so glad that you planted the right seeds. Don't ever forget, you grow what you sow. Please do subscribe to our channel.